to your left, you can see me flying over it. Well, Oh, hello, hello. Welcome to Overwatch Tips, Tricks, Reviews. Today we're going to talk about one of those sweet, sweet Healy boys. You know, one of the ones that helps you while you're fighting, and that you love, and that you always endorse, because if you don't, you're a bad person. Today's contendant will be Lucario, my favorite Pokey Watch character. So I used to bag on Lucio quite a bit, until I realized that his, uh, healing. It's really good! So I thought that Hanzo was a crazy-ass character for bringing a bow to a gunfight, you know, but Lucio really just blew my standards out of the water. He literally took a 12-inch subwoofer, ripped it out of some teen's car, added a trigger to it, and said, hey, I'm gonna make your ears bleed. Lucio's primary weapon that he uses when he's, you know, running off walls and jumping and shooting people is his uh, sonic amplifier. He's the only hero in the entire list that actually has a burst fire weapon. This subwoofer-wielding maniac can fire sound at you. Can fire four sound waves at a time, giving him five shots before he has to reload. The damage on his weapon isn't too bad. It can it can do up to 80. It can do up to 80 damage if you manage to hit all four of the shots. One of his first abilities is actually his secondary fire on his primary weapon, which is a sound wave. The sound wave does about 25 damage to any enemy that it hits, and then anything in front of him also gets knocked back a pretty ridiculous amount of range. So this ability is actually perfect for not only knocking off one, but multiple enemies off of edges into holes, just getting those environmental kills to secure points really well. His next ability is called Crossfade. Now when I think of Crossfade, I think of like, bad boy teenager club activities, you know, out out in the club doing things you shouldn't do, getting caught by the police, being put in jail for 45 years because the government hates us. But no, Lucio's Crossfade is actually one of his most important abilities because it switches between his healing AoE and his speed AoE. He basically just flips a switch and all of a sudden one second you're listening to EDM, go fast music and party and headbang, and next you're listening to like sweet jazz. When he's playing that sweet sweet jazz, he heals every ally around him for 16 health per second, but he only heals himself for 13 health per second. And when he's playing his deathcore EDM music, he forces all of his allies to do a line of coke so that they can move 25% faster. His next ability is his Amped Up. This dude literally just reaches down, turns up the volume on his headset, and it buffs his healing and his speed boost for 3 seconds, causing all allies around him to heal for 46 health per second, and then himself to heal for 35 health per second. And at this point, he basically just puts a turbocharger inside of your legs, causing you to move 60% faster. I swear, this dude could break the sound barrier if he was determined enough. His next ability is his ultimate, and it's his sound barrier. This dude jumps in the air, slams his subwoofer into the ground, and then allows the gods of music to give you a temporary shield of 750. Now the shield only lasts for about 6 seconds, which isn't a super long amount of time and it decreases throughout that time, but it is just enough time to protect himself and all of his allies around him from, let's say, like a diva ult, or to get out of a Hanzo ult. He can also use it right before the team decides to push into an enemy team's defensive line, just to give them that upper hand. His final ability is its passive, which is Wall Ride. This dude's already managed to make a gun out of a subwoofer, which can hurt people, and now he decides that he needs to break the laws of gravity and roller skate across walls. Anytime he uses his Wall Ride, he also gets a 30% movement buff. So now that we know what this Pokemon Sound God wields within his arsenal of fuckery. Let's go over some of the tips and tricks to learn how to play this dude. So there's a few ways you can play Lucio. One of them is not really in the back lines, but just kind of in the middle of your team, that way you're making sure that you're healing your entire team and, you know, giving them the speed buff if you need it. And the other way is to be an annoying little shit. You basically just run into the enemy's face, try to push them away, and then sprint around their point for as long as you can, trying to either hold it or capture it yourself, or just waiting for your team to come so they can save you. To be honest, using the second way, I'd only suggest doing it if you're about to lose point, and you're the first to respawn, and you get on, and, you know, just trying to hold that point until your team really can come and firmly secure it. Because the longer you spend away from your team, and the longer you spend, you know, just messing around and pushing people away, and just being an annoying Lucio, the less healing that your team gets, and the less that you actually build your ult. Now when it comes down to ult building, the best way is just to spam that amped up button, and to have your healing buff going at the same time, so anytime you're in team fights, or anytime you are, you know, off of a group of teammates and you're fighting one or two enemies, or the entire team of enemies, just kind of spam that 
amped up and you know have your healing buff on and the more you heal the more you call upon the sound gods to give you that sweet sweet barrier now i'm not saying to be a good lucio you have to stay with your team 100 percent of the time and just be healing them and you know just be that support character because there's also really common situations where you and your entire team is being held at a choke point and if you can utilize your speed buff and your amped up to get past that choke point and jump on the point to just distract the enemy team and allow your team to break through the choke point so they can catch up to you and cap point. You can also choose to be that up in your face Lucio to once again distract the opponent. Because if you're distracting an opponent and the opponents are focusing on you while you're in a team fight, that gives your DPS time to just pop off and take them out. As the role of a support character is not just to heal, but it's also to support your team. One of the best ways to utilize Lucio's sound wave is to just knock people off edges. There is nothing more annoying then running up to a point, being ready to help your team, and then getting absolutely Sparta kicked into nothingness. There's not particularly a good or bad point in time when you should shove an enemy off the edge, there is just all the time. Obviously the best times would be like if you have a soldier or a McCree ulting or something like that and they're coming up on the side of the point, they're next to an edge and they're ulting and then you just knock them off and you make them cry. You know, maybe they'll, maybe they'll go home and you know, uninstall the game. <laughs> but all in all, using Soundwave to knock enemies off edges and, you know, just get a really easy kill without much effort is amazing. Another good thing to know and to use Lucio's crossfade for is right after you ultimate. I don't do this very often, mainly because I forget, but right after you use your ultimate and you give everybody a sound barrier is to switch to the speed buff. The main point for this is with your healing buff you can't heal lost shield, but you can heal lost maximum health. So a good combo to try to pop off is if you have an enemy team that has a really big and really hard defensive line at a choke point, you can pop your sound barrier off and then switch your crossfade to speed and then amp up and now you all of a sudden have six maniacs rushing forward at 160 speed with damn near a thousand health and it'll just be absolutely devastating to the enemy line. A really good way to use Lucio's sound wave is also whenever you get pulled in by a hog because hog's normal combo is he'll pull you in with his hook and then he'll shoot and then he'll melee and that's a one hit kill for anyone with 200 health or less. But if that hog pulls you in then you can immediately sound wave and you won't take that last melee hit that'll kill you. And then immediately after, you can switch to your healing buff, amp it up, and get away. All in all, I think Lucio's most impressive ability is his ultimate. You can utilize it in so many different ways, whether it be to push past enemy lines, or whether it be to get yourself that little bit extra health because you're suddenly losing point. And you can also use it to almost just nullify enemy ultimates. Lucio himself doesn't have really a way to disrupt enemy ultimates or to, uh, you know, knock them out of it. But if you use a sound barrier in a situation where a McCree is ulting or a soldier is ulting or a Moira is ulting, they just won't be able to pump out enough damage to get past that 750 shield, which ultimately gives your team the time to find the enemy that's ulting and put an end to it. Finally, utilizing Lucio's wall run passive. Not only does it make him an extremely hard target to hit because he's gained so much speed, but you can also set yourself up to where you can run on the edge of the map, and you can kind of stay out of sight, out of mind of the enemy team. Or you can roller skate your crazy ass up a, a whole ass pillar, and just kind of hang out at the top of enemy points, or you know, your points or whatnot, just really making yourself a, a nuisance to try to hit and try to be eliminated. All in all, as a final review, I'd give this Lucario Sound God 9 subwoofers out of 10. Honestly, his healing is really good, his crowd control really good, and his damage isn't really anything to laugh at. So that's going to conclude today's episode of Pokey Watch. If you like this video, throw a 12 inch sub at the like button. Also, leave a comment. Tell me who I should do next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!